Hey YouTube, it's Lip Balm Queen here. Just want to get in here today and I want to share a lip balm haul. Um, I went to Kohl's yesterday to get lip balm. I went to Walgreens and I went to Walmart. So, um, I had, a, I had some pretty good luck looking yesterday. Um, I went through and I found, um, two of the EOS lip balms I was looking for at Kohl's. There, I was actually looking for the Shimmering Pearl, the new EOS, you know, with the black uh, packaging. Um, but I didn't find those. They didn't have those in stock, but they did have the active protection ones. And I have been looking for those at like five below in different places. I haven't found them. So when I found this, I was super excited. This is the active protection. This is the fresh grapefruit sunscreen lip balm. And it's broad spectrum SPF 30, which is awesome for lip balm. And it's actively protects and softens lips. It's water and sweat resistant for up to 80 minutes. So I'm super excited for this one. This is just awesome. I love the packaging on it too. It kind of reminds me of like the coconut milk and vanilla mint and uh, the blackberry nectar ones just because of the swirl. But then you know on the bottom you don't have that. So it's just really cool. I'm super excited to have these. Um, and I'm not a huge grapefruit fan, but I'm ex I'm really excited about this one. Like I just feel like it's really going to be a good one. Um, so let's just open it and find out. All right, so this is the fresh grapefruit. I love the packaging on this. Like, look at the cute swirl to it. <clears throat> it still says Eos in the middle. There you go, if you can see it. Um, it doesn't have anything on the bottom, but it does have at the top. And on the bottom, it actually tells you the name of the product. It gives you the information, like it's the EO, the EOS Active Protection Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen Lip Balm and Fresh Grapefruit. So that's awesome that it does that. And the expiration date, I think it's printed. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, expiration date. It's like right here. It's like almost very light where you can't see it, but it is printed down below too. This, that's awesome. Um, so I'm a huge fan of this already. I haven't even opened it yet, and I'm already a fan. Okay, so let's just open this. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's definitely different than a normal EOS. Um, that's the inside the packaging up top, which is really cool. I like that. All right. Oh, wow. That really does have a good grapefruit scent. I, like I told you, I'm not a big grapefruit fan, but that smells really good. Oh, wow. Let's swatch it on my hand. Mmm, and it just glides. Oh, my gosh, it just glides. Like, it just, look, it's just like butter. <laughs> oh, it smells so good, and it's clear. So, you don't have to worry about the whole color, which they don't have any tinted ones, except now they do have the shimmering pearl, like, pink one. Um, oh, wow, that smells amazing. Um... It actually makes my mouth water when I smell it because <laughs> it's got that, you know, that citrusy um, grapefruit scent. Mmm. And I love how the balm's even different. Like, it has like that, you know, um, different look to it, like this because it has the sunscreen and stuff in it. I love that. So different. I love it. So, I'm a huge fan of this one. I'll do a more in depth review on it um, if you request it down below. But that's exciting. I'm a big fan of that one. Okay. It's moving on. All right, then we have the Active Protection EOS Lemon Twist Sunscreen Lip Balm Broad Spectrum SPF 15. This one's a little bit um, lower in SPF, but that's still a really good thing to have any kind of SPF in a lip balm. And it is water and sweat resistant for up to 80 minutes. So that's awesome. And I love the package on this, the yellow, and it has the little swirls. <clears throat> and by the way, these at Kohl's were $4 each. So a little expensive but they are new and they do have the SPF in it so I'm not really like minding to spend that much on it because I think four dollars is okay for this but it is a little pricey for a lip balm just in general um, so the packaging has the yellow and it has the swirl to it I love that and it does have all that stuff printed at the bottom and this one is um, a little bit lighter than the grapefruit but um Oh my goodness. That smells good. <laughs> that it smells better than the lemon drop. And I really love the lemon drop Eos. Um, 
This one smells like an actual fresh lemon. Like, it's not like you just cut lemons and you like squeezed it to go make lemonade or something. Like, oh my gosh. That smells really good. I'm a huge fan of that one. I love me some lemon scents anyway, so this is like right up my alley. I love it. Mmm. Oh, that smells good. And it goes on clear. You swatch it, it just goes on clear. And this one, it kind of just glides like butter too, just like the other one. I guess because it has the SPF in it, that might be why it's so smooth. But yeah, I got these for $4 each at Kohl's. So if you're interested in finding these, I have heard people say they're finding them at Five Below too, which I didn't have luck finding them there. But I did find them at my local Kohl's and they were $4 each. And I just think they're so cute. I'm so glad to have my collection now. All right, so moving on. I went to Walgreens yesterday in search for this lip balm right here. Okay, like I've been on the hunt for this one ever since I saw it on Instagram. And um, this one here is the Carmex Daily Care Moisturizing Lip Balm in Orange Dream. And it has SPF 15 and it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. I love how all this stuff's water resistant up to 80 minutes. Like every lip balm I've had to, um, that I've got has been that way. Um, and this just looked interesting to me. So let's open it and just find out how good it is. All right, so this is the Carmex Daily Care Moisturizing Lip Balm in Orange Dream. And there's the packaging, so cute. This one, and I love how it clicks, listen. I think that's really awesome. Um, and it is kind of like a yellowish looking balm. Oh my goodness, that smells good. Let's swatch it here, we don't have no swatches. It goes on clear. Oh wow. That smells so good. That one smells almost like the lemon drop, like because it's just like a really fresh like fruit scent. It really does smell like an orange. Like it really has a loud orange scent to it. It smells so good. Mmm, God I love it. I love when you get lip balms and they actually smell like what they're supposed to and they just smell really good. I'm excited for this one. It's like it has a really nice orange scent but it also has kind of a sweet scent to it too so it kind of smells, it almost smells like an orange like creamsicle a little bit too, just a little bit but it has more of like a profound orange scent to it instead of an artificial. It smells really good. I'm excited for that. And it just glides right on too. So. If you want me to do any reviews on any of these products individually, just let me know down below. Just request it and I will be glad to do a review. And then when I was at Walgreens, there's a there's a Revo. There's three new Revos. I've already reviewed two of them, um, or hauled two of them. Um, they have a Coconut Lime Revo and they have, um, what's the other one called? The French Vanilla, which is amazing. Um, I'm a fan of both of them. I love both of the new scents. And then they have another one called Cucumber Mint. And I just have not been able to find it. And then yesterday I went to a different Walgreens and sure enough they had it. They had two left on the shelf and um, so evidently this one must be pretty good because it's going quick. Um, and this one is the um, Cucumber Mint Lip Balm. Um, vitamin E and Aloe. It soothes and moisturizes lips. That's all it says on it, but the package is adorable. I love that like pretty green and these are the shiny ones. They're real shiny So look at this isn't that beautiful look how shiny um, And then it has the well uh, well at Walgreens sticker on the top and of course it says Revo on the bottom and has the expiration date So I'm excited for this and I can't wait to know what it smells like I've heard I've heard some good reviews since I've heard some mixed reviews about it. Like some people have been kind of like, ugh, you know, I can't get past the scent. Some people were like, it smells amazing. So I'm going to be the judge of this, okay? In my own opinion, I'm going to give you my, my own opinion right now. So let's open this up. Okay, so there's inside the cap. There's the color. It's like it's a green shade, but it's almost like a bluish green. Like it's a it's a light bluish green color. I don't know what it's showing up on the actual um, camera, but it smells real. I bet it smells really good. I haven't smelt it yet, so hold on a second. Oh wow. Um, let's see. Let me give you my thoughts on this. Hold on. So when I it smells really good. It smells clean. Um. I've always been a huge fan of like cucumber melon things or um, 
like honeysuckle like things like you know like the honeydew honeysuckle whatever it is like eos i'm a big fan of that one because it has a cucumber melon kind of a scent to it um this one actually has like a real cucumber scent to it like it smells like cucumber um it smells really clean um because i always think cucumber melon I, I always think of them as being clean i don't know that smell it smells so good this one has a real cucumber scent to it and you get that slight hint of mint to it and oh my gosh it does smell good wow <laughs> i really like this it's hard to like even explain how i feel about it, it smells really good it's one of them that you don't expect, like, you expect it if it says cucumber mint on it, but it's like you don't expect it to be so real smelling, like it really does smell like a cucumber. And then it has that really nice mint scent to it, so I'm excited for this. I am so glad to have this in my collection. I love that Revo is coming out with um, all these awesome Revos, I mean, or I should say Aura Labs. Aura Labs is who makes Revo. Um, they are coming out with some awesome Revos. Um, which they have been, but like I really think they've stepped their game up and they're doing a great job on these new Revos. Um, so I'm a huge fan of that one. That smells so good. Um, so then after I left Walgreens, I had to go by Walmart and get a few things. And while I was there, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go and look and see if they have the Blistex uh, flip balms because I've already purchased the purple one. I bought that one at a CVS that's not near my house, but it was one that I don't normally go to, but I went there to visit um, to pick up some things and I found the purple flip balm. So um, while I was at Walmart, I'd heard people were finding these uh, Blistex um, Bliss flip balms and I was like, I've got to find the blue one. I hope they have it. So when I went yesterday, luckily they had both of them. They had the purple and the blue. Well. When I went in there, I was like, I've got to pick this one up. So I picked up the purple one um, for one of my YouTube sisters. She was looking for it, and I made sure I picked it up for her. Um, but, um, so I did purchase that one, too. But um, I ended up getting this one here. It's the um, Ultra Moisturizing Bliss Flip Balm. And it just says Enriched with Shea Butter. So I'm excited for this. It does show you on the back how to open it which it's kind of easy to open, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it says, this creamy rich formula takes on a, only a swipe or two to leave your lips feeling great. Our breakthrough package, packaging um, features a unique flip under cap that stays attached. And I have seen other videos where it doesn't stay closed very easy. Um, as I was watching Beetle Babe's um, video yesterday, she had posted about this flip balm, this exact one, the blue and uh, the cap wouldn't stay shut. So I'm hoping mine does actually stay shut. So we'll see. Um, but it says top rotates under and stays attached. So let's hope it stays attached. So let's open this one. I didn't have any problem with my purple one. That, that one stayed attached fine and it didn't flip open or anything un, like it's not supposed to. So the packaging looks like this. It is an odd kind of packaging. And it doesn't flip from like this side, it flips from this side. Like, you know, like the Palmer's flip bombs. Um, they, you know, they're more round and so they flip like this. Well, this one flips from the side. So when you flip it, you're getting this bomb right here. And, oh, that smells good. Um, it doesn't say there's a scent, but, um, Wow, that's an interesting scent. Hold on a second. I gotta figure out what that is. I kind of want to say, um, it kind of has like a light blueberry scent. I don't know if I'm imagining that or if it's really there. Oh my gosh. It does go on clear. I will give you that. And it is a clear bomb. Um, God, I kind of smell blueberry. It smells really good though, but it smells like a light blueberry scent. I don't know if it's supposed to smell like blueberry. Let me look at the packaging. I'd be really curious to see if it says anything about like, it just says flavors, but it doesn't say what the flavors are. Hmm. Well, 
I'm just gonna say it has a light blueberry scent because that's what it smells like to me. I mean, I may be wrong on that, but to me, like on my opinion, I think it has a light, a very light blueberry scent. But it smells amazing, so I'm excited. So here's the test to see if it stays shut. And it does, unless I actually flip it to open it. So it does click, shut, and it stays shut. So I'm excited for that, because I was a little worried about that. Um, but the uh, purple Bliss Flip Balm, um, or Bliss Dex Flip Balm, it smells like a light vanilla scent to me. Um, I don't know what everybody else thinks about their opinion on it or whatever, but I think it has a light vanilla scent. And it kind of, when I applied it to my hand, I thought it gave me like a slight shimmer to, to like my hand or whatever, which it may have been my imagination, but I thought that it gave me like a light shimmer to like this my skin. Um, but I'm a huge fan of that one. I have been using that one like for at nighttime a lot. I really love the way it feels on my lips. I am so excited for the balms that I did find yesterday, especially this one because I think the smell is amazing. It does. It smells like blueberries. <laughs> um, I don't know. You comment down below if you own any of these balms. Let me know what you think about them. Um, I'm, I'm loving the way they smell and the way they feel when I swatch them. So I will probably give you a more in-depth review, especially if you request it down below um, on how these are after I've used them for a little bit. But I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. And if you have any requests, comment down below. And I hope you all have a blessed day. Thanks. Bye.